吧。I'm here with uh, our MMA coach, I would also say like MMA mentor, this is Nordin Taleb. Uh, he's a former UFC fighter, he's really fought with some of the best who is out there. And you come from the tri TriStar gym, so Trust the gym, yeah. yes, that means that he's been training also with GSP, with John Dana here and with a host of other people and what really stands out to me is that he's like a fighter he can you know he can smash i know that but he also very nuanced and has very like a high level technical knowledge in the skills of martial arts and fighting and combat and even today like we, or a little bit while ago we find out that he knows a very very unique and special style that we actually wanted to kind of feature on this channel that is going to be showing so i think it is going to blow your mind as well because it did blow our mind i think it's super amazing so Glad to have you here. It's an art to actually have yeah, you on the channel. Thanks, so. thanks for having me. In the middle of 2023, we were just finishing a pad striking session. In the octagon right next to us, I noticed a man with his student sparring and training in mixed martial arts. It turned out that the man was Nordin Taleb, a former UFC fighter. Ever since then, we have been training regular with him, learning invaluable and unique tips, techniques and knowledge. One time, after our workout, Nordin showed us a couple of moves from an ancient, very peculiar and rare style. We do not know the original name of this style. For the lack of a better word, we are calling it the Triangle System. He had seen this style both in a video and in real life in Thailand. Next you will see Nordin recalling some of the techniques and strikes he had witnessed when a Muay Thai fighter had challenged a practitioner of the triangle system into a fight. So basically, uh, the guy was like this, okay, full in triangle, okay, really, really like this. He was concentrating his hands and, and pushing the hands against each other, okay, and he had his hands to don't block his, uh, his vision with his forearm, he had his hands at this level, okay? Mm -hmm. So the guy has a Muay Thai attitude, and uh, so he, he, he starts to throw kicks, okay? So, wow, boom, he was blocking like this, okay? Do, do a little kick, yeah. Bam. He was blocking like this, okay? So you, I believe you need yeah, a serious... That's actually, I need to get You need a serious conditioning <laughs> on, on your forearm. Yeah. That's but, like uh, so hard, the bone. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, uh, when he was blocking, you know, he was cutting piece by piece, the guy. Yeah. Boom, he was blocking like this, okay? And the guy was hurting. After that, he had a lot of hesitation to, uh, yeah, the to get the hard key because he was very hard. The guy had a serious, serious condition. So the blocks was like this. It was like this. Yeah. yeah. Bam. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, sometimes it was go, go. It was going forward. Bam. To the tie. Yeah, to the tie. Okay? So it was like this. Yeah. So sometimes yeah, he figured out, boom, he figured out the speed of the guy, but he remained strong. Not even flinch the guy, he wasn't like a... Yeah. You know I mean, like, he, he stays solid. Yes, yeah, yeah, solid, really solid. Like. So he keeps going, bang! You know what I mean? So after a few, boom! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You it, felt it? Yeah, I felt it. A little, yeah. It was very like small, but like, this muscle would like break. I think. And the guy, and the guy even, uh, like the, the Mutai guy was like... You no, know, you, see, you see the reaction. Yeah, yeah. And this guy keep moving forward. <laughs> he keep moving forward, yeah, he keep moving forward. And yeah, so, so this is uh, what I remember from the kicks. Uh, so he was also uh, doing again a kick, yeah, it was a block and going uh, forward. The, yeah. And so the, your head was actually protected as well? So yeah, you protected, yeah. Because if, if I kick here, then it's like... Yeah, yeah, you do the same, no, you, you, you always turn. Like okay. the, for the example, the kick is coming to the head, yeah, bam. Yeah, no, always, always. So sometimes, he just broke him from distance when, when the guy was fast, because it was also a real fight. Huh? And, uh, mm -hmm. If your audience have seen some multi fights, uh, the power, uh, power, the roundhouse kick—it's something. You know, no MMA guy ever has a roundhouse kick 
like even like a 14 years old uh, mm. Muay Thai uh, practitioner in Thailand. Yeah. Okay, they're, like they're super heavy. Super heavy. Like, even your kick, I can feel like it's just like. Yeah, and I have uh, maybe 20% uh, of uh, this, uh, you know, yeah. of this science. It's crazy. So yeah, so I think uh, so it was blocking first, okay, like this, concentrate, bang, okay. Then figure that, he figured out his speed, well, boom, he get in, he get in the tie. Mm. Then I saw him like go go, with block, bang, going so straight like or on the hip, on the, on the ribs or on the uh, solar plexus, mm -hmm. okay. And then the guy was start to be uh, less and less and less uh, accurate, okay? Yeah. And he didn't have only the elbows, okay? He also, he also uh, go for the kick. Yeah, boom. He was also blocking like this. Go, go. Yeah, he was also, boom. Blocking like this, okay? Sometimes just be, bam! Going inside, bam! And going uh, on the inside, okay? And they have also the, this, um, uh, like Aikido, you know? The, like this Aikido vibes to use the, the strength of the opponent. So, so the guy was, uh, okay, he saw with the kicks he started to be damaged, so the guy started to, to pop his jab, yeah. okay? And he saw the hole, so boom, he started to hit him, you know, boom, like here, and even inside, yeah, boom, boom, yeah, he started to, start to hit him, but the guy remained remain strong still, boom, you know, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, yeah. Yeah, boom. Then he get, the guy get in, okay? So come, come, yeah. Yeah. boom, the guy get in, okay? On the on the wrist and on the elbow, okay. And you see, I took a step on the side, and then, oh, no, boom, no, and then after, boom, on top of it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, actually, that wall like was going to break. And I saw it. Yeah, and you see. Yeah, it was sequence. like very strong lock or kind of arm bar. Yeah. So. So yeah. So you start to pick him in the back. Bing, you know, bing, yeah, boom, oh. Then you catch it, okay? On the wrist and on the elbow, okay? Step here, up, boom. And then again, put the pressure on him, and he, uh, he, he, made him, uh, he made him tap. Okay, uh, so that's, whoa, what the <laughs> hell is that? You know what I mean? So that was against an actual fighter. Against an actual fighter who was, uh, <laughs> was uh, probably uh, like average uh, fighters, uh, like a hundred plus uh, fights. So the, the guys have seen it all, you know what I mean? And you haven't seen this coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the elbow, the everything. And uh, yeah, also the, the vertical, for, the, for example, for the knee. Oh. He tried to, to go and clinch it. No, no, uh, oh. he went and you know, he went for the clinch. Oh, I mean? you. Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was a, you know, with this triangle, it's hard to put pressure on the head exactly, you know, and yeah. to, to receive heat. So it was like this, just blocking and opening to, uh, to neutralize the, the strength of the guy, you know? Mm -hmm. So put some strength, yeah, so. You know yeah, I mean? that's, yeah, I can't close even. Yeah, I can't close it. Okay, and if the guy go for the knee, <laughs> bow. Ah, yes. No. Okay, it was like this and then, up. Then he was doing that, it and keep closer, it doesn't let the guy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, so it's pressure. It's real, like pressure. Yeah, it's pressure, pressure. But I, be, I believe you have, you gotta sacrifice yourself <laughs> at some point <laughs> because so much. you receive some some heat. You need to figure out the strength of the guy. You need to figure out the speed, the timing of the guy. Yeah, yeah. And you to catching it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh? Ah, so it's even just this way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, that, that would have been yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did like it's crazy. You can even accidentally dive on. Okay, so you went for the pocket. Yeah, I recognize the, the, the pattern. Boom! It's straight to the muscle. Yeah, here where you are attached. <laughs> so, yeah. Oof, bang, here in the middle. Okay, and then uh, maybe pull or maybe boom. boom. You can follow up with the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because they, they love that to to uh, bam, you know yeah. they do jab boom they go like this so it was like yeah closing yeah no, uh, f first the jab. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Yeah. And then boom. Bam. Ah. Understand? So yeah. Boom. Boom. Yeah. boom. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and then, then embrace the spin. Bam. Boom. Okay. So he also likes to hit with the elbow uh, in the middle. He was showing exactly uh, the the way I do in the middle where uh, the the tricep separates okay. with, the, with the yeah here where the biceps separates with the tricep. See, there is this line. So it was showing exactly the way uh, I show, and I understood only because 
it was demonstrated. I couldn't understand the thing of what, the what he was saying. Yeah, but what he was saying, like you need to hit in the middle. <laughs> I I, got, I already feel the the there's the nerve. Or something. Yes, you know exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's what he said. And he say he, he make the gest, the the, mm. the mimic like the, the arm would get numb. Yeah. Okay? So it's, it's actually here. So you have to to, to train to. Oh wow! To get there. <laughs> what? You understand? No, no. So here. Back, yeah, you know, yeah. Right, right in the middle. So it's the like, first one was like in mid. Yeah. The more you put tension, more you put strength. More this is intention. More this is defined. Ah, so if I'm, yeah, you know, yeah, you understand know with the with the block. But but so but how, if I hit, hit like a hook, it's not exposed, right? But you hit from yeah, from down, from down, yeah. So like boom, boom, and boom. boom. No? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. You need to work on your accuracy, of course. Repetition makes yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Huh? So bap and boom. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't this even have to hit the, it's just even if it's hit the muscle, it's... No, no muscle, no, yeah, 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 even no, muscle, I mean, you even have this, this, yeah. this tears. You know, uh, the, it's easy to cut here, yeah, and the elbow, yeah. it's like it doesn't look nothing, but it's like machetes. Yeah. But what people maybe don't even realize that even just if I hit this and you block, right, the yeah. hook, this already like, it, it hurts here, if this part hits, it's yeah, my, this part my, even, yeah, my yeah. Uh, forearm, it's, it's all, because I, I've sometimes accidentally hit someone in the elbow and it's mm -hmm. all, all like, very very painful. It is. So. It is. He was also giving the stretch shots. He was showing to his guy. The, shy, the guy was shirtless, and he was showing like the definition of the muscle. They, they're all uh, very <laughs> yeah, the tigers. Uh, yeah, in shape and everything, you know. So you see all the lines of the body, all the map. So there is a line of the biceps, and he was he was saying like you you hit there with the with what is the, the attach of the biceps, you yeah. know, like tack. You you hit with the Even when you, when you block it. Yeah. It's here. Or if you cannot reach, you just, boom, you're just, you're just getting uh, inside. So yeah, it's about this, about you know, pinning the, the right points. Yeah, yeah. And ability, the, the repetition, repetition, thousands of times, one skill, you know what I mean, to, to really get it. But yeah, I did this master, it was challenged, and he passed this challenge, uh, hands down. Yeah. yeah. I was hooked to this sport, uh, like I, <laughs> I loved it. So I developed it by myself, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, because you, you it, can yeah. kind of take some of the principles and your and they combine it with your own knowledge of martial arts. Yeah, the principle. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't work out for me to be like this and, uh, and mm. for the takedowns, everything. It doesn't make any sense, okay? Yeah, yeah. For uh, the MMA. For the MMA, yeah, yeah. Mm. But uh, all the um, all the, the, the strikes and everything and, and the way it was moving, the way it was uh, uh, getting in and taking an advantage. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it looks it looks like a Wing Chun uh, footwork. Okay, oh. but with the strikes more little than uh, than Wing Chun. <laughs> okay, because yeah. the elbows are very uh, oh. but the strongest bone on the body. I saw the guy even climbing the guy. What, you what does it mean? <laughs> huh? What does it mean? <laughs> Climb. I swear, climbing, climbing. Uh, because Mo Moi Boran, you no know, Motai, you a little bit straight. Okay, yeah. this is the kind of stand. Okay, Moi Boran, you more like this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Moi Boran, you more like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's much lower. Okay. They they more they more about uh, being like this. Okay. Mm. The legs are very activated, very long. They don't they don't take a break like a, like. A but in this style, was it was it also? No, the guy was straight. Ah, oh, straight. Okay. Yeah, almost like a like a Wing Chun, you know. Yeah. It was more like a Wing Chun, but he was just like this, mm -hmm. and uh, kind of more square than the Thai guy. Yeah. So the Thai guy was more. Like yeah, more like more profile. Uh, and and yeah, the guy was a little bit more square, and like this, yeah. So what do you mean climb? Uh, well, you, uh, climb, climb, okay. Because my brother was like this. Yeah. Okay, and my brother also had the climbing uh, system. So, so ju just be solid. Okay. Leg. Okay. So just remain solid. Yeah. Eh? Okay. <laughs> yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay. so you, you have this kind of climb. Okay. You, you can climb on the on the ties and the. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> I'll try to stay more. <laughs> stay like yeah. So. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. So think yeah. like this, okay? So yeah, 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 for sure, yeah, I need more practice uh, mm. about it. Yeah, but uh, you know, up, 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 up. They up, use up. the climb. They pass the rung, the, the yeah. leg around. And there's triangle shot. There's omoplatas. There's arm yeah. bars. Yeah, very complete uh, martial arts. Yeah, I've seen like I think somewhere they climb and then it it's like the up elbow. Yeah, that's what I did uh, right now. You see on camera? Oh yeah, I didn't see. It. I did the uh, upper bar on my foot here. Wrap around and I see your head, but because you were falling down, it was hard for me to find yeah, the yeah. stability, and I, and I ended up uh, doing the yeah north south yep. uh, on top of the head. Yeah. So yeah. So this guy. Yeah. 
was climbing like a monkey. Uh, even the, the other guy, my Boran guy, was, yeah. uh, was doing that also. But uh, me, you see, I, I took some uh, some steps to go. The guy was uh, from here. He was from here, and this yeah. climb. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah. For me, this one was uh, first. Then the. He evol evolved to uh, Moi Boran, mm. and Moi Boran uh, evolved to uh, the classic Muay Thai, as we know, yeah. the Muay Thai fights. Because Moi Boran, it wasn't like a, they, I don't believe they, it was a fight, an actual fight in a, in a ring and everything. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like the art. Just the evolution of sport. Yeah. But some people uh, keep it, uh, kept it Moi Boran was for the war, actually, like just like kill, yeah. killing yeah. the people in the fight. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's way more lethal than, uh, than, uh, than Muay Thai. I came to some conclusion then then they, there is no superior martial arts. For me, I mean it can be super martial arts because there's more martial arts more complete than others. Mm. But I mean on the big picture the way I think is like there is not super martial arts, there's only a super individual. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the, the individual who um, who dedicate the, themselves the to this actually. martial art yeah. and not like a just doing this in the air or choreographically. Yeah. They they actually test it uh, on the field, on the, on the, on the, on the real actual fight. Mm -hmm. I was searching, searching, searching a lot, like Jeet Kune Do, uh, Kung Fu. I like to get inspired you by... Wing Chun even, you should. Wing Chun, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I love Wing Chun, yeah. I practiced, I practiced uh, Wing Chun and everything. I believe on the spirit of the individual, of the mm -hmm. individual, assimilate the techniques and how he is able to, to apply it in mm. a real actual fight. You know, because mm -hmm. I'm a real fighter, as real as it gets. Okay, I'm, I'm competing in the UFC, yeah, Bellator, yeah. Uh, and early career also in, in uh, like very good uh, local uh, organizations. In Canada. Yeah, in Canada. Yeah. Okay. I was super like into Muay Thai. Mm -hmm. Then I found Muay Boran. Muay Boran was even for me more complete than uh, than Muay Thai. Yeah, because there is the panel of uh, like the takedowns are more complete and more technical actually than than the. Um, than the Muay Thai uh, mm -hmm. itself. Uh, and there is Jiu Jitsu, there is submission into this, uh, this sport. So Muay Thai is more no. before the Muay Thai? Right? Yeah, Muay Boran uh, is more ancient than Muay Thai. Muay Thai, I think, is the, uh, they develop it uh, through uh, competitions, mm -hmm. you know, with the gloves and everything. But, but the origin of Muay Thai is Muay Boran then? I think so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, like, I, I cannot uh, confirm that uh, mm -hmm. 100%, but uh, yeah, I, I believe so. I believe so is the, mm -hmm. the origin. You know? But I found uh, a real source. It was um, uh, my Muay Thai Shaya. Okay, so it was a clan of uh, uh, Muay Boran uh, practitioner. You know, they have uh, this special look also. They have like a, a mustache. They all have the, this mustache. Ah, like, like, a, this. like a symbol of their. Yeah, clan, yeah kind of look like English uh, English people. Right. Like mustache, the... very refined, everything you know, and uh, this haircut. Like very like uh, you can see it's out of this uh, era. Uh, even the haircut is like yeah, even the haircut, yeah, the, the whole thing. <laughs> and uh, digging even more, going through this, I found uh, Moai Boran against this art we we were speaking about. Okay, mm -hmm. so the guy uh, he had an entire clan. Okay, he has students, everything. He's a master, and the guy came to to uh, to challenge him. Then his Mota is superior to his uh, to his art actually. And then I cannot. I'm sorry for the audience. I cannot remember the name of this uh, martial art. It was, it's that rare. It's, it's is that rare? Yeah, yeah. To find, like the yeah, impossible. I dig, I dig, I dig. I cannot find anything anymore. And uh, one day I made my trip uh, to Thailand, and uh, I saw a guy who was practicing uh, Muay Boran, and he was this guy in the middle of them who was with the uh, with this technique, and I immediately recognized then. Okay, he's, oh my God, he's doing that. <laughs> and I thought it was a popular thing and I will get the chance to see more. Of yeah. it. But no, it was my only chance Then I witnessed it uh, by my eyes live, okay? And the guy has the, the crazy techniques and everything, but the communi I tried to speak with him, but the communication was impossible. He was speaking like a local, uh, oh, you know, no okay. English, no nothing. He was not a tourist, nothing. And he was not from Thailand. Oh. Okay, he was from, uh, I think, I believe the Laos. He was from Laos. Laos. Okay. Next to Vietnam. Yeah. yeah. So I was super happy to, to, uh, to, uh, to <laughs> yeah, see what a, okay. what a yeah. encounter. Yeah, it's like, like, wow. Accident. You know, the guy was doing this, everything. So in front of me, like I had my eyes, I, I didn't want to blink, you know, to lose uh, any of it, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, and I firmly believe that uh, it's a very, very, uh, they're very, very good techniques. Yeah, yeah. And uh, very uh, little, like, it hurts. That's techniques who really, really hurts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and there is a science behind it. Uh, it's not like a, a bullshit things like the finger in. Uh, no, in yeah, the eyes it wasn't just like gimmicks, yeah. Yeah, yeah gimmicks, yeah, choreographic. No, no, I actually saw it on the field, on the battlefield. I know it's legit. And I think, like you said, even in the beginning, it's not that there's the super martial art. It's the it's the user, and and the user is like you take some of the maybe pieces from it, and then you can actually apply it in a way that it works. But it's not like you know no art is complete in itself, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, that. correct, correct, correct. So I don't fight like this, obviously. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I got inspired by it a lot, mm. especially on my movement, the way I deflect uh, some techniques to get advantage with some angles. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, as I didn't pick everything from boxers with a white stance, everything mm. uh, as much as I didn't pick uh, uh, the, the portrait of Muay Thai with the hips forward and everything because it's so easy to get take down and everything. Okay, and everything. Okay, yeah. So I just pick it up what was uh, good for me for, mm. for how I, I build myself as a martial artist. Mm. MMA martial artist. Mm. Nordin Taleb has an MMA record of 15-7, and out of his 15 wins, 7 have come by a knockout. To this day, he holds the record for the highest takedown accuracy in the UFC. Taleb has been a long-term teammate of George St. Pierre, who's been widely regarded as the greatest mixed martial artist of all time. They both come from the TriStar Gym, which is one of the top professional MMA training teams in the world. The gym is known for its meticulous preparation and strategic approach to fighting. Basic striking, wrestling and grappling are not the only things Taleb is knowledgeable about. He has researched many traditional martial arts such as Muay Boran, but also Kung Fu and Aikido, just to name a few. Nordin combines principles and techniques from a variety of disciplines in a way that applies to real fighting. Currently, he resides in Dubai where he is sharing his vast knowledge with a multitude of professional and amateur fighters in his own TNT MMA gym. It looks like one <laughs> shot is like, I don't know, how, how anyone survives. <laughs> like, I think I'm 60% of... I'm 100% actually, but I mean, what do you use? What's left? <laughs> yeah, because when, when did you actually stop your pro, pro, professional like? <laughs> to be like I, when I snap to be a professional like I... Uh, no, no, when did, you, when did you like uh, retire from the... Ah, retire from it. Uh, uh, 2019 was my last fight. Uh, then I was booked to another fight. Ah. But the uh, COVID arrived a lot of show cancelled yeah and the lockdowns and everything and because my age or so so the equation wasn't right for mm. me eating 40 and 43 now so yeah 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 you're 43 actually yeah. Now. Yeah, yeah and your last half, last five was about three four years ago so you were still no, like five, five years ago. yeah five years ago five years ago oh yeah crazy. because two to yeah, yeah. crazy <laughs> it's is. Is crazy yeah so i was booked for the fight and so but then uh, Covid hits and then okay. Yeah. I wait a little bit. I stay. I try to stay sharp, but sure. the the sacrifices was too much demanding. I was mm. not that angry anymore. It was good for young fighters who who or people who have only this in life and uh, they're making a lot of money. That's why they keep on mm. go for for the fight. You know what I mean? But you know, it's already a lot of risks to get injured through uh, through the preparation and everything. You know what I mean? Through sure. a training camp. You can get injured, you can get sick, you can get an infection, uh, the fight can cancel, there's a lot of stuff. 
who can cancel the, your, the event, you know, mm-hmm. your, your bout. So, and on top of it, it was, you know, you go with the team to fight week and everything. And it was a lot of COVID tests and everything. And if one of your teammates That's tested good. COVID, the whole, the whole uh, crown, uh, the fight is canceled. Yeah. You don't, they they, the they didn't take any, the whole team. So even if he's one of my trainer, and me, I test negative, but the guy tests positive, no one do, fight. No one fight. So quarantine, everything, you go through hell yeah. and you go. So, so there so, can so, be yeah. months of preparation just to hear like, no. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, at, the, at the point, uh, well, me, I was investing a lot uh, of money for, uh, in my training camp, you know, paying coaches, mm. paying uh, uh, muscle therapy, paying everything, the good food and uh, all the things uh, around it, you know. So the spendings didn't worth the, 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 the all the, the risks to, to mm. the bout to be cancelled, you know what I mean? It already sucks when uh, you know you fight and you lost the fight. <laughs> Everything went well, you know what I mean? You went to the bout, you fought your fight, but you lost the fight, you have only half of your money. And it's already hard when you put everything on the line, money, your pride and everything, and you lose the fight, it's already hard. So if the fight not happening, no money... Uh, that's even harder. That's it's even yeah. harder, you know, money-wise, yeah. even harder. And I have a family and everything. So, yeah. But you found your passion in the coaching, it seems. Yeah, now I found my passion in the coaching. Uh, for me, uh, now it's time to pass to the next. Yeah. In, in my journey, you know, the people I met, mm. I met very, very, very uh, generous people. You know what I mean? Uh, like, my, for example, my coaches, they, they gave me all. They gave me all their techniques. They gave me all the, the attention. Uh, so so I, had, I, had, um, I had a great support, you know what I mean? And the, nobody... Uh, hold uh, a technique from me. I mean, all my questions uh, been answered. Mm. Everybody, all the coaches took an extra time for me to answer my question mm. and to make me understand if I don't understand the, the, the technique. Maybe they saw the that class. You're, you're ready to take, take information because I think it's also maybe about the people. Yeah, also, also, so, so, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm like this also, but uh, I, what I mean also is like, it's, it, I, I do it naturally to, to share the knowledge, to ah, pass yeah. to the next, you understand? Because People have been like this to me. To you? And yeah, then so now it's my turn to open <laughs> and who's ready to take all the information and to make, uh, to, to make the, the, the commitment into it, mm. the deep martial art. Like, I open, uh, <laughs> let's go, take it. Yeah, yeah, I don't hold nothing. I don't oh, have, it's like, like an old flowing, anyway. It is, it is, yeah, flowing, flowing of, of technique. And yeah, I've been super fortunate to, to be surrounded by uh, like, like great minds of the game. Mm. Like great, great, great minds dedicated people as yeah. much as dedicated i was me in the gym they were dedicated outside yeah. but i like that like you, you actually yeah you know where where it, it's not only you it's also of course the masters be, before you and the, all the coaches the students like that's what kind of fills you in the end like it's your hard work but helps help is needed on the way exactly but. yeah 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 <laughs> and now you have a gym in dubai yeah now uh, yeah i'm in my gym in dubai uh I'm very happy and uh, excited about it. Just recently opened, like uh, let's say three months. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to, to welcome as much as students uh, as the capacity is allowed uh, mm. to have. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here to give, to give everything, you know what I mean? And uh, one thing I can tell you, you sign up here, t- 10 years from the day uh, you sign up, uh, the 10th year, you will still learning something here because uh, like I have, a, I have a lot, I mean, I have a lot of knowledge because people see only uh, the arsenal I brought to the war, mm, to the actual fight, to yeah, the yeah. fight. You know I mean, so. But even I mean, this one which is just learned this triangle style. Yeah, it's like it's just out of the blue, like this, like hard, like right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Exactly, exactly. So I have a lot in my arsenal that I didn't showcase uh, yeah. during the fight, and you cannot bring it all. You know, you, you get lost, and uh, we were a team who was uh, very strategic and and. Uh, we plan everything, you know. Mm. I mean? We're like very meticulous. You know, I, I see this like this. You know, I'm, I'm contracted. I'm contracted to fight somebody, okay? Or I'm a hitman. Let's say I'm a hitman. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a guy who's contracted to to, to kill someone, kill. okay? <laughs> so okay. Oh, you need to kill this guy. Receive the mail, whatever. Okay. I focus on my target. <laughs> okay. The guy is always in a public place. He's always uh, surrounding. I cannot go with the AK-47 and. Uh, Ah, yeah, yeah. Understand yeah. me? I have to take the, the right weapons for the, the right uh, so you create target. a strategy. Uh. Create a strategy and uh, bring discipline myself to only use 
what's necessary to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but why use unnecessary stuff? Like you, you analyze it beforehand. And you don't use like randomly all the techniques yeah. to to it. Yeah. And this, but this I know this even in, in with the way you coach us. It's like that you have a number of techniques, but you don't like bombard us with this. You understand that okay. First of all, just and the value in fundamentals. Even though you have a super high level stuff, mm -hmm. like if we don't have the fundamentals, that's like no value. So you actually no value, yeah. you actually grind or make us to do the, the important stuff that is really important and, and stuff that even even we haven't noticed. Even though we have been doing like MMA for a while, and mm -hmm. there's there's been things that just like we knew it, but we didn't really know how to apply it. Apply and do it, it yeah, yeah, yeah. And me, the, me, it, it's very important for me than my my students. Uh, can apply mm. the techniques in the real action time. You know what I mean? Can apply the techniques. It's not something they can do in the practice, they can do on yeah. the pads, but they cannot do in the real uh, situation. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. for me, yeah, that's where the fundamentals play a big role. Mm. You know, mm. need to be the, I'm sure you know, your, your fighting background is, yeah. because you, if you went to the fight, you had to have the stuff that actually works, works there. So. Yeah. Yeah. so I left a lot of things uh, behind, a lot of my skill set uh, left behind because that was what I, what it would not work against this uh, opponent. Right, right. So right weapons for the right uh, target. No, but that's, that's the correct attitude. Like you're not, you weren't fixated on, on this ideal of this is the way and this is the only technique. But you you really did like like an adjust and we were like a martial artist who explored and researched mm -hmm. like true. Like I think that's, that's fantastic. It's open minded. Open minded. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like <laughs> <You said it>. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, guys, about this learning about this very unique technique. Because I, for me, it was like really eye-opening. So <sighs> that's it. If you want to see more this kind of videos, let us know. Otherwise, stay strong. <laughs>